so at the time we are taught that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed the believers telling them to inform those disbelievers of Mecca and tell them, look, whatever's going to happen to us is victory. And then you have the Prophet ﷺ telling us that Allah Almighty never does bad to a believer. The believer will look at it in a way that he or she will understand the goodness. And this is where we get those statements from where we say, oh, you know, don't worry, it's going to be good. Everything's going to be okay. Allah will grant you. Be patient. Inshallah, things will improve. Those are powerful words. They were taught to us by Allah and his messenger. They are very, very powerful words. And this is why we need to keep on reminding people that, you know what, Allah has favored us and uh, Allah benefits a true believer by blessing the believer with contentment, with happiness, with reassurance, with goodness, with hope. And Allah heals the broken heart very quickly. It's human nature to miss people that you've lost. It's human nature to feel within your heart that, oh, you know what? I hope this robbery didn't happen or this fire didn't happen. But that was Allah's plan. You know, uh, if there is someone to blame because they did it, yes, they will take the blame and they must be held accountable. But for us as believers, we will take that in our stride. We will do so knowing, being reassured that, you know what? That was Allah for me. I'm going to bear patience and work hard and try. People have lost jobs. So much has happened. This is all part of the plan of Allah. Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. May Allah make it easy for all of us.